I mean, it, you know, it hurts we didn't have our best game. Yeah. Um, tough conditions. You know, I, I think you could tell that both teams were struggling with the ice, but, but Brad was stellar, you know, the first four ends. And, uh, you know, he nailed us the first four ends. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were Whisker from ceiling three on that measure. That would have tied the game. Mismanaged. It was just, it was tough, right? The guys thought it was there. It was maybe even heavy, but in the, in the end, he got two back. And it just, it, it's so, it's so frost, frosty in the middle that, you know, I, I can't blame the guys. Like, they, they're trying to place it, and we misplaced it. He got two back, broke the game open again. I mean, you know, we could have made that. But it's, it's not easy out here, and, you know, they did their best, right? They thought it was there. Mike, just the thoughts on this team doing this under a year together and making it this far and going to the yeah, I mean, we, we beat him Saturday night. Unfortunately, he's the defending champ, and he's hard to put away on Sunday night. Uh, but, you know, we we have everything to be proud of what we did in six months. Um, you know, this is this is a great team, and, and we're not done yet. What is this whole experience? Yeah, you know what? I, I, had, a, I had a list of uh, who I was playing for today. It was a pretty, pretty long list. And, you know, some people might call that long list pressure. And, you know, pressure is a privilege, but I, I don't look at it that way, the list, though. I, I, I look at it as it was an honor to play for all those people on that list, you know, whether it was my teammates, whether it was fans, whether, whether it was, you know, people that had given up on me a little bit over the last half dozen years. You know, there, there's a lot of people and, and just the fans in Saskatchewan, you know, there's there's a lot of people on that list that I was playing for. So it wasn't pressure for me, it was an honor. And that's truly what this week was for us. It was an honor to play here. So you obviously never gave up on yourself. Do you think you're sort of answered some of the critics who sort of said, uh, I don't care what the critics say. I mean, I, I think... I think what I, what I did here and what my team did here, I mean, it, it doesn't matter the result today. They could say what they want, but it doesn't matter because they're wrong. We're, we're not done, and, and, and despite the result today, uh, this was a hell of an accomplishment. Holden, just keep your thoughts on the game today and going up to toe to you there. Yeah, you know, uh, I'll have to look back at it, but uh, just came out a little, uh, came out a little flat, unfortunately. Um, but the boys battled hard in the second half, and we got that steal of two there to bring it back. And it's got a little unfortunate on Mike's in uh, seven there that it just didn't curl. Left him a double. Otherwise, he's drawing in a tough spot, and you never know what happened at that point. Just this overall experience for you curling in Regina and going on the run you guys did. Yeah, it was great. I mean, the fans are awesome. I couldn't ask for much more. And uh, I mean, we had a great game, a great week. Uh, you know, great event. So. Something to look forward to. What's it say about this team that six short months you guys made all the way, like I said, toe to toe against defending Team Canada? Yeah, I mean, it's our first year together, so I expect good things from this team to come in the future, and I think we're just uh, going to get better from here. Yeah, Mike McEwen said that. He said this team's not done yet. This is the last no. of us. What's that like to hear that, too? No, I, it's, I mean, I can't wait to hopefully get back to the Briar again, and, you know, obviously our goal to go to trials. So, you know, we have, we have another event yet this year, so uh, hopefully we can finish up strong. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, we still had to earn our way into the Briar. Uh, we had to win our provincial, and, you know, we went through and we played well and uh, earned our way here, and, you know, we had a great week. Does it feel like Mike's kind of found a home here with Saskatchewan? He's bounced around a little bit recently. I think so. Yeah, no, he feels very comfortable with all of us, and uh, we feel comfortable with him, and, you know, it's a really good fit. Thank you. Six titles trying to strike the moment. Oh, wow. Um, if you asked me after the sixth end, I didn't know if I'd be here, um, but it, it feels awesome. You know what, to, to start off the week the way we did, and, and really we, we lacked confidence at the beginning of the week, and it was fun to see it develop more and more as the week went on. And uh, the ice surface was a little different out there tonight, and I think it took a little of that confidence away, but you know we battled through and got the win, which is awesome. Uh, did something go with your knee? Yeah, I, I felt a little pop when I squatted down on one of EJ's. Um, 
I think it's just me being 43, to be honest. Uh, I don't think it's anything serious, Lisa, I hope not, but I was able to throw those two rocks and make them. Um, so we got someone here, she'll check it out later tonight. I mean, you, you said that it wasn't so much about the legacy, it was just about like, winning the moment. Yeah. So what does that feel like? Uh, this moment is awesome. This is the, you know, this is what it's all about. This is why I play, this is um, why I love the game, and I love these, I love this moment, you know, to see it all come to fruition after the hard work this week. Um, this is so cool, and it isn't about how many, it's it's about this moment here, and I'm gonna enjoy the next couple hours. We got an early flight, so hopefully we make it. Brad, how much do you like Regina, your second bar in here? I, I love Regina, it's a great curling city. The fans were awesome here today. Obviously, they were on Saskatchewan side, and rightfully so, but um, I enjoyed playing in that. I thought they were very respectful to us, and uh, it was a really cool environment, and. You know, kudos to Mike and his team. Like they were, they had an incredible week. Particularly Mike, he was awesome. And uh, fortunately, you know, we we left them some tougher shots today, and, and uh, we got a few misses, which you know was uh, was good for us. And, and we played well in the first five ends. Yeah. For you, what's more impressive than the You know what? I I'd have to say six and eight years. Like. Longevity is a big thing, and, and uh, you know, once you win a couple in a row, it's easy for the, motiv the motivation to drop off. And I don't think it has for me, yet, or for Mark, or for EJ or Jeff. Like we, we're still driven. We still want to win. We still want to play well. And so I would have to say, doing six and eight would be more impressive. You're going to go to Switzerland with some unfinished business, obviously. Yeah, uh, we've lost the last three finals at the World, so. Hopefully we can take it one step further, but you know what, the World Championships are getting tougher and tougher to win, and you know we're going to have to play like we did at the end of this week, and, and still catch catch a few breaks, but you know we'll be right up there with everybody else. An incredible show of emotion in the seventh, a two out of nowhere by you, Brad, and, yeah. and you were fired up. I, I was. <laughs> talk about that, because that, that was the moment of the game. Yeah, no, no doubt. I You know, I was fired up in the sixth. We, we made four brutal mistakes in the in the sixth end and really left ourselves no shot and and I could see my team speeding up a little bit like tellement de talent et de résilience dans cette équipe là tes réactions c'est difficile de de parler comme six fois on a gagné cette ce championnat il y a des fois que je pensais que je ne vais pas gagner aucune et maintenant on a six cette équipe on a, we don't give up. On aime, on aime jouer ensemble. Et uh, yeah, c'est difficile à, 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 à oui. <laughs> comment que Brad Bouchou est si fort puis ici euh, non mais c'est comment tu le décris? Uh, il, il, ah, c'est difficile aussi. Uh, il est, uh, il aime, il aime jouer uh, pour les. Uh, in front of the fans. Mm -hmm. um, uh, on, on a joué ensemble plus, plus que 20 ans maintenant. <laughs> Et uh, c'est difficile uh, um, de dire qu'est-ce qu qu'il fait pour cette équipe et uh, mm -hmm. tout ça. C'est comme un frère pour toi, quasiment. Ah oh, oui, oui, yeah, je, je n'ai pas un frère, mais il est <laughs> presque le, le plus uh, proche qu'un frère, oui. Un autre mondial pour vous autres? Comment oui. on se prépare en Suisse? Parce que ça ne sera pas facile. Non, il y a beaucoup d'équipes euh, dans le monde maintenant. Euh, euh, on va préparer le même que ce, ce prior. Euh, beaucoup de pratiques. Euh, mais euh, on va... Euh, ce soir va être euh, du fun. Euh, donc j'espère qu'on peut... On va fêter, partir, puis après oui, ça, on, oui, on travaillera après. Avec les familles et nos fans qui, euh, qui sont ici, um, parce que le, le support de, de nos familles, c'est tout pour nous. J'espère qu'il peut célébrer avec nous. Merci, Marc, et bonne chance. Merci. Merci. Marc, can you put into words three in a row for this team? This yeah, I, I haven't even, like, is, is the talk is to talk with six, and, you know, you kind of forget about three in a row, and um, and then it's just just win this one, and, right? Like, you can't look ahead, you can't look behind, and... Um, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's I, like you know, I, I said it just then. You know, and Brad said it before. He, we were knocking our heads for so long to, to win one, and and now uh, to now say we've got six. EJ's got three. Man, it's been uh, it's been wild. Your, your thoughts on the 
thoughts on the week? I mean, it felt like you guys maybe started out a little slow, but as we know, this team is able to pick it up when it matters. Yeah, I think we've said it in a number of interviews with you guys. You know, you want to be playing your best at the end of the week and not the beginning of the week, and not that you kind of want to write it up that way. But, uh, yeah, we, we played a good first game. We ran up against a hot mic in our second game. That could have went either way. Um, and then we struggled a little bit, and we, you know, kind of found another gear kind of midweek and on through through the playoffs and you know the it was yeah it's hard to hard to describe right now this is uh this is wild what does it mean to you to be going back to start to switzerland now yeah. another chance to compete at world yeah like we've we've been so close a number of times in a row we, we always give ourselves a chance and you know it's just you know back to some good practice a little bit of rest and enjoy this for for a little bit but uh yeah we're back to work uh, pretty quick to get ready for for worlds <laughs> that that first Brad's first shot in seven saved us. Um, yeah, it's one of the better. Like, I mean, I've had a, I've been spoiled for twenty years. I get to watch it all the time. He makes all the, and it's just like, oh yeah, here's another one. And he did it. He saved us, uh, saved us in seven. And then Mike, you know, just left us a little, sh uh, you know, a, a slim double. And um, you know, Brad made it. It was just he turned. It, w it wasn't looking great for a couple ends there. And uh, you know, Brad said, yeah, here. I'll, 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 I'll take it for you guys. It was great. Yeah, do you find he makes a lot of shots look effortless? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say effortless. I mean, but, like, he's, he's just good under pressure. It's, but, uh, you know, it's the years of experience and knowing kind of how to throw it and where to miss and what to make. But he's just so cool and calm under pressure. He just loves this atmosphere. He loves this championship. He wants to win so bad. And, you know, nothing phases them. It's, you know, I've had the best seat in the house for 20, 20 plus years. It's just, it's fun to watch.